So I'm Nick Bowden, Director of Education at CG Masters. Uh, I've been in industry since 97. Our school is called CG Masters because myself and all of our instructors have decades of experience in industry. We think it's really important. Uh, Matt asked me to, in brief, describe what our school is. So we call it a completely production-driven training environment, a production research and best practices facility. And our mission is to generate studio-ready, competent commercial artists and TDs who need no further training. One of our challenges is keeping ahead of the technology curve. We keep an eye on technology trends and act to adjust our curriculum when there's an obvious change in the wind. So we're not technology specialists. We're end users. We are the artists and TDs. To us, Athera represents a gale force wind of change. So I want to talk about Athera as an education solution. When I first read about Athera, I was confused. I, I was like, what? What is this? And I know some people at the Foundry, so I emailed over and I got on some conference calls and I gathered some information. And here's kind of in a nutshell what I concluded. Ethereum brings your pipeline out of the studio into the cloud. It's really a, an artist and TD's window to powerful workstations, industry standard software, and an unlimited render farm. Rent software by the month and computers by the hour and only pay for what you use. I thought that sounded like a really good idea. As a matter of fact, my first response to this wasn't even rational. I kind of had this really emotional, I kind of went, holy crap, we've got to do this. And it took me a while to actually put together the rationale that, that drove that initial response. So there's a lot of things to consider when you're thinking about a major change like this. There's hardware, power, network, software licensing, IT staffing, security, crew. Uh, so in a traditional pipeline, a typical power workstation for 3D artists is gonna be four to $6,000, not including peripherals. We need a fast network, of course, license servers, software servers, a lot of storage, racks of render nodes, and a lot of air conditioning. Uh, under Athera, Artists working at a basic office computer or laptop can use a 16 core, 104 gigabyte machine with a powerful GPU, or 10 of them, in 10 different sessions, all from one inexpensive workstation. We run multiple sessions of demanding 3D applications on this $35 Raspberry Pi. And just to be ridiculous, I ran a Houdini simulation on my phone. <laughs> I just wanted to know if I could. The interface is a little small. Uh, power considerations. So when I was working at Method Studios, we were growing and growing, and we had to add more and more power. We actually ran out of power. We could not get more power out of the local transformer. So we had to rent an adjacent building, run dark fiber across to attach them to the network, because we just had no more power. We had, still had room for artists. So under Ethereum, there's no need for local high power workstations. No need for local massive render farms or local big storage or tons of air conditioning. So this is a massive reduction in power needs and costs. And for us, it would have meant we didn't have to rent an entire second building. Network considerations under Ethereum, every workstation needs about what you'd need to run Netflix. Uh, you do need a fast optical connection into the cloud. Traditional software, so we all know we generally purchase licenses by the year. Sometimes we'll rent them by the month or quarter as needed. Uh, ramping up can be difficult. Um, there's a lot of considerations, invoices and accounting and things like that. Uh, under Athera, if you are allowed to, if somebody will give you a company credit card, you can purchase more entitlements and have them instantly available. So how many people have had artists sitting around going, does anybody have a nuke license? Okay. Who has three nuke licenses open? Your in-house operating system is irrelevant. Now, I know most 
large studios already run under Linux, medium to small studios, and probably most schools run under a Windows environment. It doesn't matter. Athera is Linux. It means better security control and less render overhead. Now, security is less important in schools. I mean, who's going to want a sneak peek at a student project? Uh, but schools running on Windows can still teach under a Linux environment, better preparing students for big studios. And I think that's awesome. IT staffing considerations under Athera. So less hardware and software in-house reduces your IT costs. IT is not your problem. It's Athera's. You still need to maintain your local workstations and network, of course. You still need an optical connection into the cloud. You still need a pipeline uh, department to test and distribute your custom tools, if any. And you'll need to manage your own cloud storage and backup. For schools, this is a huge advantage. So before I had my own school, I taught at other schools. And my experience has been that the IT departments at schools, they are not uh, specialists well-versed in studio production technology. Um, I had one IT guy come in and look at all the workstations. All the workstations are rendering. So their CPUs are all at 100%, and the network bandwidth is just crazy. And he said, this is bad. This is, this is a really bad situation. He didn't understand that we were happy that we were using 100% of our CPU power. Uh, so you know, a typical office IT per person is not trained in pipeline operations or use and maintenance of power workstations and servers. If you're using Ethereum, they don't have to be. Security, well, you heard from Adrian about security. Um, it's secure. All the data is in the cloud. You can limit access, the service account, and encryption key. It's error gapped. You control access. Uh, there's independent security audits. Google Cloud Platform is MPA approved. Uh, crew considerations. So, what's good is that your crew can work anytime from anywhere they have internet. What's bad is that your crew can work anytime from anywhere they have internet. Uh, so, the first thing we discovered when we implemented Athera was that our students would go home at night and work till four o'clock in the morning and then come back to school completely burnt out. That's bad. Work-life balance is essential. It's one of the very important things that we teach. Um, there's lots of ways to get a work-life balance. Athera is a tool that can really, really help with that. But it turns out there are some artists that still need a little work on self-discipline. So future versions will permit us to limit access hours. Is it perfect? Of course not. It's new. Currently, not all applications are available. Uh, software versions are, are limited. Uh, you need a fast connection to the cloud. You'll, you'll always need that. Uh, fortunately, they're more available and less expensive as time passes. There are occasional performance issues. With Ethereum, we have about a 96% uptime record, which is about the same as I experienced in a studio with entirely on-premise um, systems. I mean, who here's been in the middle of production and the entire building power went out? Pew. Yeah, of course. Uh, currently, there's no way to run unattended automated scripts. That's actually my biggest beef, and I've been beating Matt about that. Uh, the current interface is a little awkward, much like this little lamb. I thought the LAM was a, was a perfect example of Ethereum today. On the other hand, these are all being addressed, except that you'll always need a fast internet connection. Um, Ethereum support, basically all the Foundry support that, that we've received is amazing. Um, I have to give a huge thanks to Matt, who's kind of like, I don't know if he's got to always be on his computer with a NIC alert. Uh, and the support and dev teams that kept us on track during our transition. Uh, so, what are our reasons for adopting Athera, or what I like to call a very sensible, not unreasonable decision? So, before I tell you what, what the world is that I imagine, I have to explain. CG Masters is not a big school. 
I'm a partner, so part owner of the school. I am a director of education. Of course, I also teach production and lighting and shading. I maintain all the hardware and the software and the licenses and the network, and I'm not a trained IT guy. For hard problems, I have an IT guy who I bring in. Um, I sweep, I wash dishes. So I, uh, oh, and I, I manage the render farm. So we have a small render garden of 40 nodes. And usually towards the end of production, we have 10,000 frames on the farm. And half of them are crashing because, you know, students. <laughs> so somebody needs to manage the render farm. Uh, and that's me on evenings and weekends during the last four to five weeks of production. So imagine this world. Imagine, put yourself in my place, and now imagine this world. Not having to maintain a render farm. No license in software servers, no large storage, no air conditioning costs, except just for the regular rooms. Expanding your render garden to 10,000 nodes overnight with no capital expense. No render queue, because you always have enough render nodes to handle all the submitted frames. All the IT except your local network is somebody else's problem. Teaching in a Linux environment without having to administer Linux in-house. I'm an artist, not a network administrator. I mean, I've worked in Linux, I know Bash, I can teach my students but I don't want to administer that. So here's our take. If you're a school or studio that uses applications available on Ethereum and you're about to invest in hardware, you'd be crazy not to consider this. Cloud computing is the future. For schools, it makes sense to be training in the environments that studios are moving towards today. It's as simple as that. Thank you. <laughs>